Welcome to Astronomy with Josh. Today, we check out the latest project, a telescope build. So a couple months ago, it's February now, and this was well before Christmas, I decided to build a telescope for a buddy of mine and wanted it to be really unique and really portable. So I found the brother to the telescope that I built in a previous video, the Pure, the Edmund Scientific Telescope for the front yard. Found the brother on the internet, and it was just the optical tube. The whole thing really needed a lot of work. So here's the work. Here's the build video, check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. Dig it. All right, here it is. Here it is. Let's see what it looks like. primary mirror out here and see how that looks. This thing is old. It's probably well, at least 70 would be the latest, but probably old. It's been well used. Oh yeah, that needs that needs a recoat. The guy said it was missing some coating, so there's an aluminum finish on here. I'm gonna try it this evening though just to see how it works. That. Old Edmund Scientific label. A little bent right there. We'll fix that up. We'll fix that up so it looks brand spanking new, man. Okay, so we're kind of putting things back together. We're going to do a star test to make sure that the mirror is working before I send it off to get recoded because that's kind of expensive. So we want to make sure that it's worth it. Code it to me, I'm worth it. Nah, it's too late to sing. Is it ever too late to sing? Welcome to the garage, drive my car, show guy vibe. I hope so, I hope so, yeah, totally bro. Anyway, good news, the telescope worked. Star tested it last night and uh, it's gonna work, it's gonna work, man. So, a couple of goals here. We're gonna eventually turn this into this. This is my dope scope, my eight inch F4, old school Coulter. I built the base over the summer as under lighting, Bluetooth speaker, I need to put the hubcaps here. Uh, but we're gonna make a similar base, but nicer for this. So now, we gotta paint this and try to get these dents out of this. And, oh man, well, let's see what we can do. Next up, we gotta take the mirrors out and get them shipped off to Spectrum Coatings. Yeah. Sweet. All right. All right, so moving along, uh, need some tube rings. Plywood is not working, but got the tube box cut. Got some pine rings here, and we're gonna finish cutting these and drill them and start putting things together. Got to sand things too. The paint's all cut and sanded and roughly designed. Now it's time to fix this up. Look at this. It's all nasty. Inside is all dusty and we need to repaint that so it's not reflective. And there's these dingers in it too. So I'll see what we do. Shiny! Alright, clean the inside and we'll paint that first. Christmas Eve. <laughs> the mirrors aren't in. The thing isn't even put together. But uh, it'll get there. It'll get there eventually. I paint roof to have plenty of ventilation. Put a nice. The thing was originally white, so uh, you know, conforming to spec. We're gonna go a little off script in a moment. You'll see. You'll see. Right. 
got two painted. Looks pretty good. Looks like a big cigarette or something. Box built and painted. And now we got to line this with felt. Get all nice and snug. Rings on like this so you can lock the tube down and then loosen it and rotate it and move it back and forth. Now it's okay, so now we got the tube rings on and put these spacers on here just to give these knobs enough clearance. The idea is, is it's really going to get it in the place that you want it, but if you ever want to rotate the tube or move it back and forth, you can loosen these and uh, maybe else you carry. So I got this Ebony Star from Micah. Some old stock stuff, and we're just putting it on this piece of pine that I cut out with a bandsaw and made it black. Okay, this is the big part right here. Now, I'm gonna make some I got this vinyl tile from the Lowe's and Teflon is gonna ride on this. Got the Teflon, you can get this for a lot cheaper if it's not from an astronomy place. Uh, we're gonna make three little pads that will slide on the tile. Clean them up a little bit. So, you believe me? Ah, blood. Not a project, unless you're bleeding. All right, so the mirrors came back, coatings and coatings and Boy, do they look nice. Paul did an excellent job on these. And what I want to do is, uh, I should have got him to do this, he offers this. Think of this. I want to put a paper ring right in the middle of it. Why? This is easier to collimate Newtonian optics if we have a ring that will cast a shadow. We'll do another episode about that, but use a Barlow laser to it. It's really slick, really easy. Oh yeah. Yup. There's a teeny dot there. I'm going to make a paper ring. Go, eraser, then have a dot in the middle of my primary mirror. This will eventually cast a shadow that will not affect the optics, um, but when I'm collimating it, it's going to make it much easier. And three piles of glue, like this, glue it on, cool. <laughs> Look, it's done. It is done. All right, so final things. Put a couple things on here. Put some handle. Made a little eyepiece rack right here. This is called a Rigel Quick Finder. It's just a zero power red dot finder. Mounted that on there. Put the focuser back on. Put the secondary. Put the primary back on. Collimated the whole thing. Need the uh, Grateful Dead sticker. Some initials right there. And look at this. So. It works pretty darn good. It's one of those things, there's always a trade-off in the design. So it's real tall, so it's a little bit wobbly. It stops wobbling. But the wind comes along, I had it out last night. It does move a little bit. However, it's a really nice height for the eyepiece. And this whole thing is built with comfort in mind, so I like it. I like it a lot. This is cool. And uh, check out this picture I took through it last night of the moon. Man, oh man. All right, well, tomorrow's the big unveil. I'm gonna deliver it tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions about the build, just let me know. Uh, the technical specifications, in case you're wondering. It's a four and a quarter inch Edmund Scientific mirror with a prism diagonal right there. It's been recoated with max reflectivity coatings, the highest available by Spectrum Coatings. I think it's a 1972. Um, and it's a focal focal ratio of 10, so it's an F10 reflector, and it's a spherical mirror on there. 
so it uh, worked pretty darn good. It was throwing up some nice views of the moon, as you can see. Oh, yeah, man. I am pleased. I am pleased. We started out life as a Palomar Jr., and now it's a dot. There we go. Clear skies. 